peace family i wish i recorded a video but in the moment behind the chair i forgot however i did take pictures and so i wanted to share with you a recent lock combination that i did taking freeform locks to 48 traditional semi-freeform locks and this was a picture or these are pictures that I shared on my Instagram and I also posted a Q&A and I thought the questions were really insightful so I wanted to share them with you but first if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do that so you don't have to wait for awesome um, transformations like these so anyway let's go ahead and get into this process the first thing we did was part out what his locks would look like um i sectioned them off no particular parting system because again he really was really looking for a semi free form aesthetic and after parting out these sections i used a combination of crochet techniques to seamlessly combine the locks together and in some instances, because his locks were originally freeform, I was creating locks as well. So as you can see in the video, all the locks are put together. Some of them you can tell that they are combined, but for the most part, it's pretty seamless. So let's go ahead and get into a few questions that I got on Instagram. Um, essentially they're asking will his locks fall down eventually because you can see that they are pretty stiff or standing straight up and the answer is yes they will um, be more pliable or relax after you shampoo however with really thick locks in the beginning stages if they were naturally cultivated they would naturally stand up like that so um, how they appeared initially after the installation is very reminiscent of what your locks would do if you were cultivating them naturally so um, yeah they will eventually fall down though next question um, do you have to comb them out to combine and that's actually a really great question because um, as you could see some of them were pretty seamless you couldn't really tell that they were combined from previous freeform locks but you do not have to comb out or cut your locks to combine them in most instances um, with this guest specifically we did not comb out any of his locks and another great question that I got was um, you know why would you do a lock combo and truly this is a personal choice um, but most people tend to do a lock combination if they desire to have larger locks or in situations where a lock is thinning and they were um, needing to fuse it to another stronger lock you would do a lock combination and this is one way that you could combine a thinning lock next question do you use thread and is there a technique to combine that is bad for locks? So I do not use thread or glue or wax or any um, like additive to combine locks. Me personally, um, I just don't believe that you should have um, those things kind of sitting in your locks because, you know, it's going to grow with you. Um, is there a technique that is bad for locks? very very subjective um, question here because there are many different philosophies on hair locking I'm not here to judge or to say one is better well one is worse than the other <laughs> there's definitely um, instances where things can be better or more advantageous for you um, so this is just what I prefer the method that I prefer to use and found that works really well to um, grow with you over time all right next question do you have to wait until locks are fully mature to combine absolutely not the younger your locks are the better so if you are thinking about combining go ahead and do it now 
And one of the last questions that I got was, how can I seamlessly combine my locks at home and uh, um, kind of like review basically the person saying that they tried to crochet their locks at home and it's not staying. And so, um, like I said with this technique that I used, it is one type of technique that can be used. There are a lot of different techniques um, and tools that can be used doing it at home and even doing it behind the chair if you're a professional is I would recommend that it be something you are trained in so you understand what you're doing why you're doing it and the how of it at least for me um, that helped I personally have tried to crochet my hair at home and I do <laughs> I like to think at least that I know what I'm doing and it's not easy to do it on yourself it's really something that a trained professional should um, do for you um, for this look. So, so yeah, these were the uh, most common questions that I received. And this is, you know, before and after of the combination that I did. But, um, well, not but, and <laughs> I would love... Um, if you have any questions about combining locks, if you could drop those in the comments, um, definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram and I will try to do better at recording more videos. Thank you so much for watching and essentially listening. I hope you learned something and I will chat with you soon. Peace.